going on guys Rico here back again with another live this time we have Facebook live right here and then we have Instagram right here I'm gonna wait for people to get on I know it's been a while so today we're gonna to be talking about how to get rid of bankruptcies so if you have any liens or you know bankruptcies on your reports this is definitely going to um, help you okay let's see it's the first time doing a live right here and right here at the same time so we'll see how this works <clears throat> All right, so I'm just waiting for people to get in right now. All right, if you are watching, comment in the section below what city and state you're watching from. Myself, I'm in Temecula, California. Where are you guys located at? Type in the comment section below. All right. Let's see this, what's going on, guys? It's a test, test. Can you guys see me? Can you guys hear me? All right, I'm not able to see anything right here. I'm gonna have to exit out of this one. Hold on, guys, having technical difficulties. Discard media. Okay, good, good, good. Watch it from Rhode Island. I see you guys. Okay, cool. All right, let me go back live on on uh, Instagram. All right, cool. What's good, Jarrell? Watching from Rhode Island. Awesome, man. Awesome. Cool, cool. All right. So we got Instagram live. Um, you can follow me at Rico the Credit Barber. And basically, we're going to start going live every week again, right? I know we had a little bit of break to where we didn't get to uh, <clears throat> upload the videos, but moving forward, we're going to be giving you guys, you know, tips and tricks on how to basically fix your credit, build your credit, and then leverage it, all right? If you're watching live, if you're watching me live, comment in the section below that you're watching live. If you are watching the replay, comment in the section below, hashtag replay, okay? What city and state you guys are watching from? Myself, I'm in Temecula, California, and we're just gonna get right into it today, okay? So, how to remove a bankruptcy. If you or anyone you know have a, a tax lien or a judge lien, child support, or a bankruptcy, chapter seven, right, 10 on your credit report, you are going to want to listen to this, all right? So this is from my Facebook community and from my Instagram community, okay? All right, so for those who don't know me, my name is Rico. Back in 2009, I was a victim of identity theft. All right, one of my own family members, my own blood, you know, utilized my social security and credit and basically plummeted my scores to the 500s, okay? For those of you who don't know, all right? So I was in Iraq at the time, uh, serving in the United States Marine Corps. And as you know, when I found this out, I was devastated, right? I couldn't wait to get back home to deal with it. But as you know, my mind was not on fixing my credit because I'm in Iraq. I'm deployed. I'm on a deployment, right? So when I come back, you know, I, it was oblivious to me that when I did, when I did um, go apply for a car or an apartment or anything like that, I was getting denied, either getting denied or a high interest rate. Why? Because my credit score was in the low, you know, 500s, okay? So I took it upon myself to invest over $50,000 over the course of the years of mentors, right? And I'm still investing to this day. I'm, you know, knowledge is power. You gotta act on it, right? Aaron says, Las Vegas, what's going on, guys? So, you know, I'm acting upon that knowledge that was given to me. And now to this day, I have about three passive income businesses leveraging personal credit and and um, business credit, okay? Close the door. 
All right, sorry, my son. So leveraging personal credit and business credit, I learn, you know, how to read a credit report. What's bad on a credit report? What's good on a credit report? How to build, you know, how to fix, how to build a credit report, right? And it wasn't an overnight process. It took me years. It took me years. And I'm still learning, right? I'm still learning for myself, my clients. And, you know, every day is a process. So I just wanted to bring this knowledge to you. So if you or another family member knows somebody who has, you know, a negative item on their report and or this particular item, which is bankruptcy, you're going to want to listen to this. OK, so let's get started. We're going to talk about these eight different steps on how to basically get rid of a bankruptcy off your credit report. OK. And if you're ready for me to get started, type in the comment section below, ready. All right, so I know that you're with me. It's going to take some engagement. I, I, I need you back, all right? So I want to know if you're with me and if you're following what I'm saying, okay? All right, so for those of you joining, again, this is how to get rid of a bankruptcy, okay? So number one, you want to get a hold of your LexisNexis, your SageStream, okay? You want to get a hold of your third party credit bureau reports. All right. Most people don't even know that there is there is a third party out there. Chris on Instagram says ready. Awesome. Thank you for sticking with me and Facebook, YouTube. OK, again, if you're watching. Type in the comment section live. If you're not, if you're watching the replay, type in the comment section replay. OK, so back to the, the steps. First step is get a copy of these reports. Lexus, Nexus. SageStream, Air, all of those, all of those third-party uh, credit bureaus. You want to search what those are. Okay. Once you obtain those copies, you're going to look through the reports and you're going to see where you have that bankruptcy at. Okay. You're going to see where you have that bankruptcy at. From there, you are basically going to dispute what's on those reports. Not the not Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax yet. We're not going there. This this is this takes a process, okay? First, you're going to dispute what's on the Lexus Nexus reports and the SageStream reports, okay? You might ask, hey Rico, why do we want to do this, right? Why do we want to dispute the third party bureaus? Well, this is why, because when you're disputing a negative item, you may ask, you know, something gets returned as verified. How do they verify? I'll tell you how. They verify by the third party bureaus, which is the Lexus Nexus, ARS, SageStream, Innovis, you know, Credco, CoreLogix, all of that. Okay, so you're gonna want to obtain a Lexus Nexus report and an ARS ARS report. Okay. So that's what you want to do. Okay. Then step two is you're gonna to want to dispute those items off of those reports which is the LexisNexis report and, you know, the ARS, okay? SageStream, ARS, all of those, okay? From there, okay, you're gonna send a letter to your local courthouse. You're gonna send a letter to your local courthouse asking how are they, how are they verified uh, this bankruptcy on the credit reports? You know what's gonna happen? Who can guess what's gonna happen? Type in the comment section below, who can guess? I'll tell you what's going to happen, guys. They're going to say we don't share the information with the credit bureau. So that right there, if if you know, that's that's a form of identity theft. All right, I'm just putting that out there. All right, but how do they obtain this? How do the credit bureaus in Lexis uh, Lexis Nexus obtain this? They have taken your identity, taken your social, all right? They run a background check and they say you have a bankruptcy, which is it's public record. Yes. Um you know, in the courts. However, it doesn't have to remain on your credit report. Who you never gave permission to have it on your credit report. Okay. Once you know the laws and are protected by the laws, you'll know what I'm talking about. Okay. You are the original creditor. All right. That goes down to a deep rabbit hole. We can talk about that later. But you're gonna send a letter to the courthouse. They're gonna send you one back stating, you know, in their official document stating, we have, uh, we don't report to the bureau so you're gonna keep that letter and then you're gonna ask okay from there once once the Lexus Nexus reports are deleted meaning once the bankruptcy and the you know 
all of the negative items are deleted off the Lexus Nexus reports, then you're going to ask, you, you can go two ways. You can go and update your personal information. I always, I always recommend you update and delete all other names, um, addresses, date of birth, social security numbers, uh, emails, phone numbers, all of that. Employers, you only want to have one address, one employer, if need be, or no employers, no email address, no phone number, no social on your profile. Okay, but you only want to have you only want to have one of each. Okay. Then from there, you're going to ask them to validate this account. All right. Sometimes that them validating the account um, will get erased right there because how do they validate it? They validate it through the Lexus, Nexus, ARS, and Sage Stream. Which might I add, after those are frozen, what's going on, Sherlyn? After those are frozen, all right. You want to, um, I mean, after those are erased, you want to freeze those reports opt out all right opt out how are they going to verify if it's opt out or frozen right you deleted it and it's frozen they can't verify so if they do send a letter back to you saying that it's verified you know they're lying they're breaking the law all right so they're going to send a letter with two things saying that it's verified or it's erased okay but from there is when they give you the details about that saying that it's verified that's when you go to dispute all right with the laws and i'm gonna give you those laws at the end all right, so you disputed, right? You show them, you're gonna to put together in the, the packet, um, you know, the credit report, obviously. You're gonna put the court document. You, you're already frozen your LexisNexis and third party bureaus, right? So <clears throat> therefore, um, how are they gonna verify, okay? You change your personal information, et cetera, right? You're going to then, once you send these disputes, right, you're going to hit it hard. It's not an overnight process, right? Some people have luck getting it removed fast. Some people have luck getting it removed over a year. It just depends how consistent and persistent you are, right, with this. So you're going to follow up after you're disputing and keep following up. If that doesn't work, you're going to send a letter through the CFPB notifying them that you've been trying to get this item deleted. It's falsely on there, right? I'm going to give you the code after this. But you support the document stating that, you know, it's not on your LexisNexis report. It's not on um, the court documents. You're going to give them the court documents, a copy of that. Um, and basically, it's, it's, it's a form of identity theft, if you ask me. But anyways, there's a bunch of laws to go through by, right? You want to keep on following up. If that doesn't work, you know, that law that, that you want to dispute with is 15 U.S.C. 1681. B, that's the most general general laws that we use in our company. It's a permissible purpose, okay? So there you have it. How to remove a bankruptcy off of your credit report, okay? How to remove a bankruptcy off of your credit report is very essential, right? Because this could stop you from getting, you know, real estate deals, uh, apartment, car, you know, by the way, you want to include everything that the bankruptcy was affected by in this letter as well, in the disputes, because if it's a bankruptcy, that means it's collectively has to be removed off the report. Okay. I hope that helped. Okay. Now, it, there's there's something I wanted to talk to you about as well. Okay. We, our company at Approve Repair, you can see right here, fix credit, approvepair.com. If you or anyone you know is interested in working with our team to where we have this done for you, comment in the section below credit repair, right? Comment in the section below credit repair or go to approverepair.com. Click the link, fill out your information and one of my team members will reach out to you to see if we're a good fit, okay? Now, if you want to learn the credit game and do this yourself, you know, you actually want to make a business out of it or you know, just learn to help others. I actually have a ebook, right? Where I give you the exact template letters that I do for my clients and I give it to you, it's in your hands. Not only are you gonna have the letters on how to delete these negative items, such as bankruptcies, late payments, charge-offs, etc., right? But you also get to see how you can start your own business as well, right? Doing the same thing, basically that I'm doing, all right? Helping people, all right? 
So if you don't have any questions, by the way, if you do want that ebook, type in the comment section below ebook. But if you don't have any questions, that concludes tonight's live on how to remove a bankruptcy off your credit report. If you do have questions, comment in the section below. All right. We'll open up the Q&A for about two to five minutes. We'll see what's up. I hope that helped you guys. Um, I hope that helps you guys. All right. I know it's kind of boring stuff, but this the stuff you need to, you know, you need to have removed off your report is very essential. Very essential. All right. Awesome. Let me see. This is what it got me tired, guys. All right. So if you guys don't have any questions, I will see you next time. Peace. That's Instagram.